Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good day everyone. My name is Alia Fajrin Ramadan Intasution and I'm from the Faculty of Geography, State University of Padang. So today we're going to talk about how to open the entry application, 5.1 type, adding the data, header editing, and layer stacking. And also for the additional bonus at the end, I will show you the same thing of tutorials, but to be processed from entry 5.1 classic mode besides uh, the main one. So without further ado, let's just get started. So the first one is how to open the entry application. Uh, all you have to do is just open the app right away by double click um, this application icon or you can search it from in, you can search it instead from uh, the start menu like this. And after you click the icon, after you click the icon, uh, the first look of entry welcoming logo will be shown like this. To open the data from this software, you can start it uh, from click the file menu, then choose open. Or from the icon bar, you can also click uh, the open icon like this. Then after you found uh, the file where you save your data, you can choose some of the satellite imagery files that formatted in save uh, format with some specific pen types. For this example, I'm using the Landsat 8 satellite imagery files, which has two sensors on board of operational land imager and thermal infrared sensors, short note as only or tiers contained with 11 bands. Uh, the only the only sensors uh, record the effects of reflections from objects on the Earth uh, using visible near infrared and infrared waves. Meanwhile, the tier sensors record uh, the effect of radiation emitted by objects on Earth. The sensor uh, uses thermal infrared waves. Uh, then the bands on Landsat uh, 8, including tiers and their specifications are can be seen uh, the following pictures like this and about this tutorial i will just right away add adding uh, the data from the band one to seven for short practice or you can do this method uh, if the satellite image uh, to be input is in the tiff or hdr format uh, the HDR format is a raster data format from NP software. Meanwhile, the TIFF format is a generic or general raster data format. Anyway, um, some satellite data is not always a TIFF format. Uh, the way to open non-generic data format is by click the file menu, then choose open as, and then uh, choose the kind of satellite sensors. Uh, of the data that you wanted to open about. Here uh, we can see some of the tools navigations like this one um, is the select icon one to select the pixels usually is to identify the value of the selected pixel and then uh, the pen icon for moving side to side the satellite image um, fly icon um, just have almost a similar function of the pen menu and then we have rotate and zoom and then uh, fix zoom in fix zoom out and also zoom to full extent now we will do the layer stacking this layer stacking is the process of creating a multi-band image by combining images from separate bands into one file the output of this process is an image file with HDR format that uh, already has more than one band or we can call it as the multi-band file and is no longer is a sing single band data anymore. This process is uh, very important to carry out further image processing processes uh, such as digital classification process that require multi-band images. So the process to process this step um choose the raster management menu in a toolbar like this in the tool menu i mean toolbox menu and then um 
choose the layer stacking. So, the box of the layer stacking parameters will be shown like this. To add the data to this menu, click import file. Then select the input file with the band data from 1 to 7, like this. And to save the output itself, uh, you have to click to choose. Uh, you have to click the choose menu, and it's required before you can continue your activity to process the data. Then you can uh, set the coordinate system of the image output, for example, like uh, geographic for geographic coordinate, um, or stick to UTM for uh, a projected coordinate system. If you choose the UTM system, uh, then you have to adjust the zone. For, and then for the final touch, click OK. So the result of this layer stacking process appears in the layer management box like this. Name as stack layer. After this layer stacking, we will do the header editing. This step is actually optional. It doesn't really matter, but if it's done, it will make it easier for us in terms of process going forward. Uh, the steps that will we will be taken are to rename each band and also define the wavelength of each band. The first step is uh, click the edit empty header in the toolbox. And then choose the satellite imagery file that we wanted to edit about. Like uh, we're supposed to click the stack layer. Click OK. After that, uh, we'll be show. Uh, there will be shown a box menu like this, and the first thing uh, we are going to do is renaming each band we, by choose the edit attribute uh, menu, and then click band name, change, and then uh, we can change the names of each band simpler than before. And next is to define the wavelength limit of each band. Uh, all we have to do is just the same. Click edit attributes, then choose wavelength. And then uh, add the specification of them. Like um, the, band, the first band with um, 0 0.5 or 45. Okay, um, don't forget to choose the parameter units as micrometers. And then you can click OK. Now, as what I promised before, uh, we'll do the same thing but with the anti classic one.
first view of this application is quite simple as what you can see now, which is only shown the toolbar. And then for adding the data, uh, you need to click the file menu and then choose open image file. Pick the data that you wanted to add. It. Click open. Now the available band list will be simply shown like this. And before we load the band, we need to stack them by click the basic tool. And then choose the layer stack menu. To import the data as the same as before, you need to click import file behest. Choose all of the data that we wanted to speaking about and then click OK. As you can see now, the files are not ordered as what we as it's supposed to. And so we need to reorder them by clicking uh, this option. Uh, and drag each of them as the desired order. Don't forget to choose the output file of pricing. And then after the layer stacking process is done, for the header editing, we can do it by click the main uh, header of the stack layer and choose edit header. I mean, and choose edit header. You can do this uh, just the same as what we've done before in the main application. And in fact, the process is not even different. After all the processes are done, we can finally load the band and so we can see the imagery file shown on the screen. With of course two types of style like grayscale or RGB colors they can choose. And I'll give some sort of example when we use the RGB color. Right. Personally, I like this kind of NP application uh, the most than the main one because it's pretty much simpler and awesome and also unique. And it's possible for us to open several layers at the same time with the different RGB colors combination to facilitate uh, our image classification process. And maybe next time I'll show you how to open these multiple layers at 
the same time and also how to sync automatically the cursors uh, from the different layers. So maybe it's enough for today's video tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy it and got some new knowledge. So I hope to see you soon. Bye.